Hi guys, welcome back. So this is uh, chapter two of Junie B, first grader, boss of lunch. So I hope you're ready. Did you get your hot cocoa, get your blanket? It's still cold in my house right now and it's really windy outside. Chapter two, hoagies. The lunch bell rang at 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock is around noonish, I believe. I picked up my lunch box and ran to the door. Then I lined up with my friends and I waited to go. It's almost time, I told them very thrilled. It's almost time for me to eat out of my brand new lunchbox. I held it for them to see again. Which baby bird do you guys like the best, I asked. Pick one, okay? My friend named Jose looked at the birds and shrugged his shoulders. I don't know, I guess maybe I like the duck best, he said. Ducks can be funny sometimes. One time when we were having a picnic at, a, at the lake... A duck chased my sister and stole her ho-ho. My friends Lenny and Herb laughed real hard. They looked at my lunchbox too. I think I like the owlette the best, said Herb. Me too, said Lenny. I saw a TV show on owls once, and an owl swallowed a giant rat in just one bite. He didn't even chew anything. After that, I stared at Lenny a real long time. Because that disgusting story just ruined my outlet. That's why. Finally, all of room one walked to the cafeteria together. The cafeteria is a big room where we eat lunch. It has smells and noise and tables in it. Room one sits near the window. I zoomed there speedy quick. Come, Herb, I called. Come, Lenny and Jose. It's time for you to watch me eat out of my new lunchbox. I turned around to wait for them. Only too bad for me because none of those guys were even coming. Instead, they were standing in the dumb lunch line. My mouth fell open at that sight. Herb, hey, Herb, I called. What do you think you're doing? Why aren't you coming to eat with me? Herb shouted back. I'm buying my lunch today, Junibi. Jose shouted too. Me too. Everyone is buying today, Junibi. Hoagies. We're having hoagies, hollered Leonard. Save us the seat. Oh, my shoulders slumped real disappointed because I wasn't actually expecting this development. I sat down at my table and looked all around. There was only one other person sitting there. His name is Sheldon. I do not know him that good. Sheldon waved his fingers at me. We're the only ones here, he said. We're the only ones who didn't buy hoagies today. I did a sigh. <sighs> yes, Sheldon, I know that, he, I said. Sheldon slid across from me. Hoagies are very popular, but I'm not allowed to eat them, he said. I'm allergic to fake meat and cheese. I looked at Sheldon closer. His nose was running very much. Please wipe your nose, I said. Sheldon didn't pay attention to me. I'm only allowed to eat food that comes from nature, he said. His nose ran even more. Also, I'm allergic to dairy, he told me. I handed him my napkin. Blow, and I mean it, I said. Sheldon did not blow. I slid to the end of the table. Pretty soon, my friends started coming out of the kitchen. The other children started coming too. They sat down and took big bites of their hoagies. Mmm, said Herb. This hoagie is delicious. Si, sí, said Jose. Muy delicioso. Lenny nodded. Then he opened up his hoagie roll and looked inside. I think even you would like this hoagie, Junibi. Look, it has ham and salami and cheese and lettuce and tomato. Just then, May butted her big head in. It's good for you too, Junie Jones. All school lunches have to be delicious and nutritious. It's a law. So, I said. So, lunches brought from home can be any old thing, she said back. I did a huffy breath at her. Then I turned my back and I hid my sandwich very secret and I peeked inside the bread. I stared and stared for a real long time because 
I didn't actually recognize the meat, that's why. Finally, oh, I ate it anyway. It was tasty, whatever it was. All right, guys, have a good night, and I will see you tomorrow night with Chapter 3.